Hi everyone and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am in Disneyland Paris, just in front of the Newport Bay Hotel. Like they've got some little Christmas trees as well. Um, I am going to be eating at the Yacht Club tonight, which is a restaurant that I've never eaten at before. I'm very excited, it's quite an upmarket restaurant as well, so come along with me. <sighs> I just love Christmas. Christmas makes everything so much cuter. Just with all the decorations around uh, the hotel as well. This is the car side of the resort by the way. So if you're coming from the parks, there's another entrance from the other side, which um, I'll show it to you later on. But I got an Uber here because I'm staying off site. So that's why I've been dropped off here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to probably get a health pass and then go in. Okay, so I've got my little bracelet here. They give you this to indicate that you have been checked. Like my vaccination status has been checked already. So I don't, I don't have to like you know, show my pass constantly and they just see this and they know. Oh, look at that. I haven't been in this hotel in a while. I'm excited. Can you quote the hotel? Let me just uh, wash my hands quickly. Last time I was in this hotel was actually in uh, October of 2020 when I came here for a very, very short trip to Disneyland Paris. Um, and yeah, I stayed here for a couple of nights. Look at the reception. Not too busy actually at this time of evening, which is good because generally speaking, Newport Bay can be one of the busiest hotels at Disneyland Paris. It's the biggest hotel of all the hotels here. So obviously it means it's going to be busier because there's more rooms than all the other ones. Just look at the stunning Christmas tree here. I love it. They've got little ships as well, little boats on it to go with the theming of the Newport Bay. Also, if you're wondering, so that over there is the entrance to the park. So if you're going into the park, you'll be coming from there. You just have to go down the stairs. They've uh, put some arrows down as well and then go up there and then you can kind of see through the windows. Hotel New York is on the opposite side. That's Lake Disney. Whereas obviously I came from the other side, which is where the cars would come from. Anyway, it's actually quite late. It's currently about 9.40 and my reservation is for 9.45, so in about five minutes. I deliberately wanted to eat quite late because I spent most of my day in the park and I wanted to have enough time to go back to my actual hotel, which is offside. I'm staying at the Magic Circus and then be able to kind of rest a little bit and come here and eat later. It's also my last evening here. But yeah, I'm looking forward to, um, you know, trying this restaurant out. I'm kind of excited. It's mainly seafood, I believe. But also, they do some other stuff as well for non-seafood lovers. Also, oh my god, Minnie is here in her nautical outfit. She's so cute. She's doing a little uh, socially distanced meet and greet with people in this hotel. Well, that was very cute. I wish I could stop and meet her, but I don't want to be late for my reservation. But I did want to give a big shout out to two of my lovely viewers who I just met. They're from Spain. I believe your names were Ricky and Jenny. I'm sorry if I got it wrong, but it was so, so lovely to speak to you just now. Thank you so much for saying hi. I always love meeting you. Anyway, so the restaurants are actually downstairs, so we are going to be making our way down now. Look how tall this Christmas tree is. Look how amazing. Oh, this is incredible. I'm excited to see it from the bottom floor once I get there. Look at that. Look at that. So cool. Anyway, so this is that tree that we just saw from the top. It's quite a tall one. And then we've got the two restaurants here, Cod, uh, Cape Cod on the right. I have already tried Cape Cod. It is pretty good. It's a buffet and then Yacht Club is a slightly more market one, which is a table service and it's on the left and I've never been in this one. So let's do it together. Before we go in, I thought I'd quickly show you the menu. Obviously, I'll um, have a look at it properly once I get into the restaurant as well, but this is kind of what they have over there. Um, yeah, they also do breakfast here. So if you're staying at this hotel and you have breakfast, the breakfast is going to be the same both here and uh, in Cape Cod, so it's just a buffet. So you could be assigned this restaurant just to come and get your breakfast, which is going to be the same as the other restaurant. There you go. Merci beaucoup. There you go. This is the entrance. I'm so given my little ticket. They told me to come here. The lovely class member there. Oh, this is lovely. I feel, I feel like I'm very underdressed for this. I'm just wearing a spirit jersey, guys. Um, so yeah, we're going to be waiting here for a cast member to come and get me. There's a little Christmas tree there as well. And some actual like photos of, I want to say maybe like sailors and stuff. There's a little map here as well. Pretty cool, New England. That's kind of the vibe of this restaurant. Honestly, I'm not trying to just compare the names, but this restaurant, just the vibe of it, reminds me a little bit of the Yachtsman Steakhouse in uh, Walt Disney World. Um, I don't know, obviously this isn't even a steakhouse. This is mainly seafood but it, I don't know, could just be the name. But I do like that ship in the middle. I feel like it's a very nice and quiet meal by the looks of it. So that's gonna be nice because it's quite late and I don't want a, a lot of noise around me. Just following this lovely cast member to see where I might be sat. Ah, oh, this is a beautiful restaurant. 
Oh, merci beaucoup. Merci. This is quite overwhelming for me. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like already the service has been really, really good. Just with the couple of cast members I've seen so far. And I've literally been given a table that could normally have four people around it. The cast member was so kind. She was like, "Whereabouts would you like to sit? Which one of the seats?" It was quite hard to decide, but I think I've chosen the right place because now I can see some of the view there. But also, some of this. I don't know. I might swap around. But it's a, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful view anyway. You can see some of the Lake Disney. Um, if you had a window seat, I mean, I can still see it from here as well. I am just overwhelmed, so I'm so sorry if whatever I'm, is coming out of my mouth does not make sense. This is cute. Of course, you've got hand sanitizer. Also, it's worth noting that if, if you've got an annual pass, it's best to put it out straight away. So not at the end of your meal, but just from the start so that your waiter, your server knows uh, to give you the discount at the end. Anyway, this is the menu. Again, the lovely cast member was so kind. She was like, because obviously I spoke French with her, and she was like, what, what language would you like the menu in? Because she saw that I was vlogging. I was like, I, I would prefer it in English just so I can show it to you as well, because I know most of you, um, sorry, I nearly dropped that. Most of you probably speak English. Uh, who watch me because most of my videos, well, all my videos basically are in English. Okay, let's have a look. So I think I'm going to go for a starter and a main. They do also do some set menus over here, so I'm going to have a look at those as well. This one here is um, 49 euros for a starter, main course and dessert. Uh, if you want the wine included, it's 69 euros. And these are the options that you can get. Uh, basically with those set menus, it's like random options from the actual a la carte menu that they put there. The Moussaillon menu is 27 euros. I think that's for children, so never mind. Disney check menu, I guess, like vegetables and stuff. And then Matelot menu is 37, starter, main course and dessert. This one has roast crab with rice, smoked salmon. Right, I'm going to have to like full-on study this menu because I'm not really sure what I'm going to go for yet. All I know is I'm not too bothered about dessert, although it's nice to see they've got a vegan option even though it does sound like it's mainly just fruits. They also have some sliced fruit. Oh, chocolate fondant with passion fruit. For I don't know. I don't know. Do I want a dessert as well? We shall wait and see. But the prices are quite um, expensive as you can see. I mean, even just for the starters alone, most of the starters are about 17, 18 euros. That's quite expensive, but this is a posh and like upmarket restaurant here. And you can tell that just by the way they've decorated the napkins on the table. Like that gives it away as to how upmarket this restaurant is. You know what? Having a closer look now at all the options here and the set menus and the prices, I think I'm just going to go for the set menu, the regat menu, um, because it's 49 euros without wine. With wine is 69. I don't. I don't need wine tonight. Um, and with it, you know, you get a uh, main course starter and dessert and the options on there are options that I do like. Obviously from the a la carte uh, area there's more and there is a really incredible looking option here from the main courses um, a la carte which is a ribeye steak. Obviously this place is known for its steaks anyway, it's mainly meant to be a seafood place but the steak, I have seen pictures of it online and it looks good as well but the ribeye steak is 43 euros just on its own so if I were to get that I mean, might as well just pay a little bit more and get like a starter as well and a, and a dessert, but then I won't be getting the steak. That's fine. I actually, I think I'd rather get something that isn't steak, like something seafoody anyway. I'm not too big on seafood. I do eat it from time to time. I actually tried crab for the first time earlier this year and I quite liked it. But you know, there's, there are loads of seafood that I do like, but I don't like love a lot of it either. Like it's one of those things where I can, I can either take it or leave it. It's not one of my favorites, but I do eat it from time to time. So yeah, but like on the starters they do have options such as like mussels or scallops, things like that, which I mean all of these do sound exciting and I would like to try them one day. But unfortunately with the regat menu, uh, the options for the starters are yacht club style mussels, so you can get the mussels if you want to, vegetable soup or goat's cheese tart with tomato and rocket. I've never had mussels before. But I have seen the goat's cheese tart with tomato and rocket and I feel like whilst I would like to try mussels, tonight maybe I won't be too adventurous. I will come back one day if I like this restaurant and try the mussels and maybe just not do the set menu and get like a, um, yeah, get a la carte stuff and try different kinds of seafood. I feel like I might have to come with somebody who loves seafood who can explain things to me. Uh, but yeah, I think tonight I'm just going to go for the goat's cheese tart with tomato and rocket as my starter. The filet of cod with tempura, french fries and tartar sauce as my main course and then probably just a chocolate fondant uh, with passion food foam as my dessert. But yeah, 
we're, we're gonna see what comes out of my mouth when uh, it's time for me to actually order. I just want to take this opportunity to say how good it is to learn languages and to speak different languages if you can. I'm very into languages. I constantly learn. I try to learn anyway every single day. I'm on Duolingo and obviously other ways of trying to learn more as well. Currently I'm trying to improve my German and also learn some Spanish but just now, um, my server, my waiter, when he came, obviously a French guy, when he came, um, he he started speaking English because I think he obviously was listening to me speak in English to you guys. And then he picked up the little note that was given to me when I first got here because obviously I spoke French to the very original cast member at the entrance, uh, you know, the one that I told my reservation time to and everything. And apparently, I didn't even know this, so on that note, they write what language you speak. So on there, they had put F. For French so then he picked up and he was like oh you speak French and I was like yes yeah. so I started speaking French to him and he was like all oh, right because like I saw you speaking English and I was like yeah I, I speak English obviously to my vlog and because of that I'd rather just kind of have the thing you know menu and everything in English and um but I was like, if you want to, we can speak in French. And he was like, wow, that's cool. I would, yeah, if, if you don't mind, I would prefer French because French is easier for me because obviously he's French. And I was like, yeah, that's fine because, um, yeah, I, li I like practicing my French as well. So why not? It's one of those things where my French obviously isn't perfect. And so I understand why, for instance, he would prefer to do it in French. And it was nice for me to be able to kind of help him out in the situation if that makes sense he would have been absolutely fine in English as well he obviously had to come to me in English at first and he would have been fine with it but it's one of those things where if you do speak another language you can make someone else's life a bit easier and you can connect with them better as well because as soon as we switched to French we ended up joking about a bit more and like it just felt a lot easier the connection if that makes sense I don't know I just thought I'd put this random speech in here because it's something I'm passionate about I love languages if I could learn every single language in the world I, I would but obviously I can't um, but it is my um, one of my biggest goals is to continue learning constantly and Spanish is my next one so I already speak four languages obviously not all of them are phenomenal but um, yeah I, I'm trying to improve all of them and like I said German and Spanish are the ones that I'm working on for now on a totally different note lord have mercy i have just noticed that this is meant to be a boat i can't believe i've <laughs> only just noticed it but yeah how how awesome i just love how everything is in theme so the the napkin even is in theme with the whole vibe of the restaurant with the yacht club and just the whole um the, the hotel as well that way and i'm going to put it there because it's so pretty and well made that i don't even want to use it obviously i will use it though don't you worry i'm not going to come to like this incredible restaurant and just not use napkins so i've just been given some bread which um, I don't think I'm going to use to be honest because I'm not even that hungry right now even though it is quite late I'm not too hungry so I'm going to keep this for when my actual food comes and maybe have some of the bread with the food but also I've got my apple juice here as well he did also tell me that the starter should come very very soon I just wanted to say a big shout out to every like I said all three people that I've met here so far all the cast members they've all been fantastic like you can you can feel the level of customer service being a bit more a bit, a bit higher than like the regular restaurants that you would go to here in Disneyland Paris. So my starter has arrived and to be honest as much as I would really like to try mussels one day and I will because I like trying new things I'm so glad I went for this because this looks just so nice and fresh. Uh, tomatoes and mozzarella on this little bread I believe and some rockets over here as well. Oh I am so excited for this I can't even explain to you. This is obviously a vegetarian dish as well so if you're a vegetarian uh, this is something that you could get here at this restaurant. Also I can't even explain to you it smells phenomenal it smells so so nice right I am gonna have to take my napkin because you know etiquette one has to put their napkin on their lap when they're eating anyway I do this anyway I go to even not even just when I come to nice restaurants I do it even if I go to McDonald's but I mean maybe not maybe not McDonald's but I do them at any table save service restaurant um, but yeah let's um, let's start eating let's start taking a bite I don't even know where to start okay so this is gonna be my first bite it's probably a bit bigger than my mouth can handle but we'll try wow wow that is delicious so so good I don't even know why because it's quite a simple thing but it's just so nice I think it's maybe like the olive oil that they've put around it or something I'm gonna have some more make another bite with the rocket it's just because it feels very very fresh I'm sure it is very fresh and yeah the mozzarella is amazing the tomato the bread the rockets everything is phenomenal it's a it's a big portion as well you know for a starter so yeah I'm gonna continue eating this enjoy this and get back to you when my uh, main course arrives so about 10 minutes later and this is all that remains 
of my starter. I basically ate the whole thing. I didn't expect to because I was, I'm trying to save some space for later because I know I've got two more courses coming. I haven't even touched the bread yet, but that was so, so good. Obviously, there are still some tomatoes left. Uh, these were the tomatoes that were in the rockets, but because there was already quite a lot of tomatoes on the actual um, tart thing, I just felt like it was maybe too much tomato. I, just, I don't need the rest of them, if, if that makes sense. Not that they weren't nice, it's just I've eaten enough now. But it was phenomenal, really, really good starter. Okay, so my main course has arrived now, which is the cod, tartar sauce, and some fries. It's basically like fish and chips. Uh, the cod looks really fluffy and good, though. Also, it smells really, really nice. I, I wish you could smell the food right now. I'm so excited to try this fish. And the chips look really nice as well, and the tartar sauce. So yeah, let's uh, let's try it. Right, so I'm so excited to try this. This is the plate. Just wanted to show you the size as well compared to me. I think this is the best way for you to see it. I haven't had fish and chips in a long, long time. In fact, I don't think I've had fish in it. Well, actually, the other day I had salmon, so I have had fish, just not fish and chips in this form in a in a long time. I would say maybe in months even. So I'm I'm really looking forward to this. This is a quite a quite a fat piece of um, cod. So. I don't know which part of it to cut off. Right, okay. I've got a bit here. This is what my first piece is gonna look like. I'm gonna dip it into a little bit of tartar sauce and try it. Yeah, the fish is fantastic, really, really nice. I'm gonna take another bite to see if it was just that one first bite that I got lucky with or if the whole thing is just cooked very well, but no, very, very nice. Hmm. Yeah, it's delicious. The tartar sauce is also very good. I'm gonna quickly try one of the fries as well. I feel like the fries are just gonna be basic fries because they look quite basic to me. But, yeah, for the purpose of this video, I thought I'd give you my review of the fries as well. The fries are good. They're nothing special, but they are they are nice. In fact, they kind of remind me a little bit of the fries from, um, let me try another one. Hmm. They're quite similar to the ones um, at Sheremi, which I really like. I think because I'm, I'm so used to fish and chips, like, you know, being with fries that are a bit more like wedges. Um, I mean, these are quite thick. I don't know. They're good fries. I don't want to complain. They're definitely good fries. But the fish here is definitely the star of the show, which makes sense because the restaurant is like a specialized seafood place. So, yeah, I am now going to continue enjoying this beautiful meal, listening to this lovely Christmas music behind me. Also, because I've got a late reservation, it's currently... 10.35, so I've already been in this restaurant for about 45 minutes or so, which is good. <laughs> I like taking my time with food and stuff. Yeah, uh, there's not a lot of people now. There's still some tables around, but it's, uh, it feels quite quiet, and so even more relaxing than it would feel ordinarily if there's like loads of people around you, and I personally really like that. And once again, I've basically emptied the whole plate, which is weird considering I said I wasn't very hungry when I came here, and I genuinely wasn't. Like, I could have eaten, but I wasn't like, really really overly hungry I haven't really eaten anything of the breads yet though and I don't think I will to be honest because I am quite full now although not uncomfortably full I'm full but I do still have the space for dessert I think because this was a very nice I, I don't want to say light because it definitely wasn't light I think because my starter was quite light the whole meal so far has felt really nice actually okay well as you can see there's not a lot of people left now in the restaurant there are still some tables full back there and a couple next to me on my left as well but for the most part most people have gone the last seating has already happened I still love that ship over there also I love the Christmas music they were playing the Nutcracker earlier but I want to show you my dessert now which is the chocolate I can't remember what it was exactly to be honest something chocolatey with some fruit around it perhaps some cream as well and some almonds I mean it's really nicely presented look at that look at those little squares of chocolate that again, this is how you know you're in a very like, good restaurant or like a fast restaurant, if you like, just by the way they present the food to you. Da, 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 da. I was just thinking that people that work here must be feeling so festive because they hear this Christmas music all day long, I was fed, all, all throughout their shifts. If I worked here, I would just constantly feel like I'm in a Christmas mood. Obviously, I'm aware that they probably only play these songs when it's Christmas time, like during the Christmas season, but even so, like, I'd, yeah, I like it. I enjoy it. Okay, I am going into... Oh my god, this smell... I need to show this to you, look. Right, so I've just gone into this. I hope you can see it. Can you see the gooey chocolate coming out of it? Oh, that is food porn. Okay, I'm actually gonna... <laughs> gonna eat some of this now okay I'm gonna take a bit of cream as well why not this is gonna be my uh, first spoonful I don't know why I make myself laugh sometimes 
Hmm. Yeah, okay. So, the incredible warm gooey chocolatey thing that is inside of it has some fruity taste to it. I'm not sure what fruit, but I personally, this is a very much a personal thing, I don't really like desserts that have fruits in them. I like to keep my fruits separate. Like, I love fruits, don't get me wrong. Um, not all fruits, but a lot of fruits I do enjoy, but I like just kind of having them on their own. I don't like putting them in, in desserts. But whereas a lot of people love fruity desserts. So I don't know how I feel about that taste of it, but it is, it is very, very nice. I'm gonna take another bite just to kind of figure out exactly what the taste is if I can. Yeah, it's very interesting. I can't really put my finger on it. I'm sure I probably said it on the menu. Oh, merci beaucoup. Also, I got myself a coffee. Um, this is, again, another way to know you're in a good restaurant because um, my lovely waiter did ask when he brought over the dessert. He was like, you know, would you like some coffee or anything? And I was like, you know what, why not? Because I actually haven't had any coffee today. And normally I do. So I know it's quite late. It's literally five minutes to 11, like five minutes to 11 p.m. right now. Sorry about the noise, by the way. This is the time, 22.55 on Wednesday the 17th of uh, November 2021 if you're wondering but yeah coffee doesn't have much of an effect on me to be fair like having this little little bit of coffee isn't gonna not make me fall asleep if that makes sense so it's all good also they do give you this as well which I think might be a little chocolate design Paris chocolate and some sugar but I honestly very rarely use sugar in my coffee I prefer it the darker the better for me when it comes to coffee upon doing some more experiments experiments I have now discovered that this the actual chocolate passion thing with the gooey in it is just chocolate so there's no fruit in this thing um, what was giving me the fruity taste is the cream so I'm not actually sure what the cream has in it um, it's a fruity taste that's quite strong if I'm correct um, and I don't like it. But the good thing is, I don't have to have the cream because I, tr I tried this, this on its own a couple of times. And yeah, it's, it's, it's fine, it's just chocolate. And then I had the cream on its own and I was like, Lord have mercy, that's the bit that I don't like. So yeah, just in case you're wondering, the actual chocolate bit is just chocolate and it's the, the fruits around it, as well as the cream is what kind of gives it the more fruity flavor. Also, I know it's just a coffee, but this coffee is really nice. I've just opened this little blue Disneyland Paris thing as well that came with the with the um, coffee and I think it's a it's a little mini chocolate maybe I don't know coffee type thing oh, I don't know I don't really know what it is so I think I'm gonna have to leave the rest of this dessert to be because I am genuinely really really full but I thought I would show you my view for the past hour and a half that I've been here whilst uh, I'm waiting to get my bill it's been lovely, it really has. Okay, my bill has arrived, so I just thought I'd show you how much uh, it is. So obviously, the menu was 49 euros. That's the menu that I went for. Oh, I also did get a coffee and espresso, which was 3.30 um, euros. With my infinity pass, I got about uh, well, 8.50 8 euros off, which is always good. So all together, my um, price came to here. 48.36 which is amazing oh yeah and of course the drink wasn't included because with the menu you only get a starter main course and dessert no drinks so that's that's why you've got the 460 as well for those you from the apple juice okay well the mask has come back on because i'm leaving my lovely table here where i was eating um yeah i thought i'd very quickly show you some of the restaurant as well before i leave because it's so quiet right now i feel like it's a perfect time to show you around so obviously you would have seen this middle section here with this incredible model of a, a ship a boat there's loads of tables around here um then by the sides here by the windows i think those are actually some of the better seats in my opinion they're mainly um small tables like for two people or one people one person <laughs> And then you've got this beautiful view of uh, Lake Disney and Hotel New York in some of actual Newport Bay as well, which I just love. I love this hotel so much. Of course, on the opposite side, you do have Cape Cod, which I have eaten at before. Although I haven't made a video review about it yet, so let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to go there one day and show you around it properly as well. Oh wow, I've just spotted this table, which is huge. This is a big, like quite a royal table. It looks nice. I also just wanted to quickly show you the details here as well by the lights with the ships i'm not sure if they always have them or if it's just because of christmas but yeah very cute they also actually do have some booths there as well and there are some people still eating over there and some more models of ships so it's actually quite a big restaurant you wouldn't think it when you first enter but there's quite a lot of space actually so yeah really lovely
N'oubliez pas votre magic pass, votre... Oh, mon annual pass annuel, j'ai oui, oublié. Pas. Merci, merci. Lord have mercy, I nearly forgot my, my uh, annual pass. Thank the Lord, my lovely waiter told me. Merci, au revoir. Au revoir. Okay, cool. So that is it. That is me and this lovely ship. I am now leaving this restaurant. What's the time? Let's have a quick look. Quarter past 11. They're basically more or less closing up. Merci, au revoir. Thank you so much. Right, we are now out of here. Wow, that was a really lovely meal. I'm really happy that I spent my last evening here on this trip here. I always like, you know, finishing on a high and I feel like, especially eating so late as well, which I don't normally eat this late. How cute. Everything is just so nautical. I love this theming so, so much. I mean, even the details of the lamps. This is now turning into a Newport Bay <laughs> tour, which that will come very soon as well, by the way. Don't you worry. All right, well, this is basically it. I really enjoyed my meal at the Yacht Club here at Disney's Newport Bay. Um, I think you probably could have seen it just from my face and my reactions to things, how much I love that meal. Was it the best meal I've ever had in Disneyland Paris? No but it was a very nice meal and I would definitely come here again. I really want to try the ribeye. I loved my fish, like the cod was really, really nice, but I do want to try the ribeye steak. I'm a steaks girl, like generally speaking, I prefer steak to fish. So I would like to come back one day and also maybe then try a seafood option from the starters, maybe the mussels, but they also had some other really nice and you know exciting seafood options as uh, starters a la carte, which weren't in them on the set menus. And I like trying new things. Who knows? I might like them, I might not, but I, I'm, I'm willing to try. So yeah, I will definitely come back at some point. I really enjoyed the service as well. Shout out to my server, Michel, Michael, Michael. I'm really sorry if I got the pronunciation wrong, but it was spelled M-I-C-H-E-L. Um, he was lovely, but yeah, the whole staff, everyone there was really nice. And I like the atmosphere too. It's a very quiet place. I would say it's a very good place for dates or if you just want a quiet night uh, away from your children. I didn't see a lot of kids there. There were a couple, but not a lot. I don't think kids will have the best time there. They, they, they did have some kids' menus, children's menus, obviously, but it's not like the most exciting place for kids. But it was still nice. I think they'd still have a good time. They'd probably just be a bit bored. Anyway, here's one last look at this beautiful, beautiful, stunning Christmas tree. And I'm going to go back into the main lobby to see how quiet it is at this time of evening. Also, look at these chandeliers. Oh my god, this hotel is definitely one of my favorites here in Disneyland Paris. I feel like this Cheyenne and Disneyland Hotel are my top three. Yeah, absolutely no one is in the reception right now. No one's checking in, no one's there. It's, it's quite nice in this way, actually. Anyway, I am gonna have to sadly now make my way back to my actual hotel now. It is quite late. So that's why I'm gonna leave this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave comments down below and let me know if you did. Which of the food items that I had was your favorite? Or do you think look the best? What would you get if you ever came here? Have you been here before? I feel like it's quite an underrated restaurant. Not a lot of people come here, at least not that I know of. I didn't really know much about this restaurant until I came here. Like I hadn't really heard much about it, but I'm glad I've now discovered it because it was a nice restaurant. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>